Hey, all you Gretas and you Tezcats out there. Welcome to Chapter 2, Section 4 Notes, What Are Systems? Super quick and easy, we'll be done this quick. So, a system is a set of components that functions or interacts in some regular way. You have something that goes in, or an input. You have a throughput, or some type of a process. And then you have an output, something that's going to come out. So this can be forms of matter, it can be energy, it can be information. Um, example, cell, human body, river, forest, dam, economy, anything. Well, not anything, but lots of things. So you have your input from the environment. So maybe energy goes in, you have the process, and then you have some type of work or product that comes out. Maybe matter comes in and you have your process and waste and pollution come out um, or heat. You can have information come in, like from your teacher who's giving you notes. The throughput would be you studying and remembering the notes, and your output would be the knowledge you have afterwards. So lots of different things you can have. Um, so we have two kinds of feedback loops. Um, so feedback is any matter, energy, or information that is fed back into a system as input and then can affect system behavior. So you have something that comes out and then it's fed back in, hence feedback loops. So you can have a positive or a negative feedback loop. And one thing I really, 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 really want you to understand is positive feedback loops do not have to be good and negative feedback loops do not have to be bad. Positive means they're going to cause the system to change further in the same direction. Um, so picture a snowball at the top of a hill. It starts rolling down the hill, it's gonna gather more snow and then it's gonna cause it to roll faster. And then that's gonna cause it to down the hill. So that's gonna cause it to gather even more snow. So the snowballs keep getting bigger, 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 bigger. That is a positive feedback loop. Let's say that I am super sad and I eat a lot of ice cream and I gain weight and that makes me extra sad. So I eat more ice cream and I gain more weight and I keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. That would be another example of a positive feedback loop. So once again, not that always a good thing, but if you keep going in the same direction, that is a positive feedback loop. I get a paycheck and that goes into my bank and it builds interest, which means I have more money, which goes into my bank, which builds interest, which gives me more money, which goes back into my bank, which builds interest which means I get more money, positive feedback loop. It still goes in the same direction. Um, we can have what's called an ecological tipping point. Um, and this is when the natural system is locked into a positive feedback loop. And we will give lots of examples of these over the course of the year. So make sure you understand what a positive feedback loop is now, because we will be referencing this throughout the rest of the school year. Then you can have what's called a negative feedback loop. And this is gonna cause systems to change in the opposite direction. So let's say that I'm cold. I put on a sweatshirt. That means I warm up. They might get too hot. Then I take the sweatshirt back off. So I was at a temperature, I went cold, and then I put on a sweatshirt and it brought me back. Maybe I got too hot and then I took the sweatshirt off and then come back to the beginning. So whenever it kind of brings you back to where you started from. So last year I had a baby. I gained weight over the course of my pregnancy, but then I had Parker and at least some of that weight left me. So I came back to closer to normal. Um, so with my money example, let's say I get my paycheck, balance goes up, but then all of my bills are automatically deducted. So my balance goes back down. And then two weeks later, I get another paycheck and the balance goes up and then all my bills are deducted and my balance goes back down. So that would be a negative feedback loop. Um, it's going to go kind of back to the beginning or where it started. So hopefully that makes sense. Please talk to myself or Mr. Burke if you have questions about that one. I really, really, really want you guys to understand those two concepts because we will be talking about them all year long. And you have survived once again. So before I go, I just want you to let you guys know that you are good enough, you are smart enough, and that people like you. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good God, do your homework.